Hey everybody, CQ from Pop Culture Warrior and WTF Nation Radio. I'm here with Jake Busey, a uh, legendary actor with so many amazing products. Um, coming from a military perspective, Starship Troopers has connected with so many military members. What do you think is it about that specific movie that connects, that resonates? Well, I think that what might have such a uh, you know unilateral voice is that uh, the movie in itself is uh, the perfect execution of, of, of a narrative story. It, it tells a story succinctly, perfectly, and there's there's no there's no fat to be trimmed, and there's nothing that's missing. Everything is just it moves perfectly. Um, you know, it took me a, a quite, it's been quite a, a few years since we made the film, and it took me a, a long time to realize why it was sticking around and, and gaining such a big fan base as the years went on. And then I, we watched it at the, I think it was the 15th anniversary reunion and, uh, that Casper organized, and, and I had enough separation from when we had shot it. But I was able to see, aha, yes, now I know what it is. It just it just clips along perfectly. And right as you're about to say, your mind is about to wander it, right into the next thing. So I think that might have something to do with it. Outstanding. Yeah. I mean, and you've been a part of so many products, Identity, Stranger Things, Dust Till Dawn. Is there, do you have a favorite? Is there something you look back at your career and you're like, that one's at the top of the list? Well, Starship Troopers is definitely at the top of the list. It was a big, it was a big project for all of us involved. It was one of the bigger movies ever made. It, it was, um, you, you just don't see films with a, a scheduled shooting outlook of 105 days. I, I recall the first assistant director, who I'd known from a, a previous movie, and when I was cast in the, in the film, he said, come here, take a look at this, and showed me the, the, the board, which is the, you know, the schedule of all the shooting days, and, and it took up an entire wall in the production office. And he said, can you believe this? 105 days boarded to shoot, which, you know, most movies go over a day or two or three. So if you've got 105 days a lot. projected, there's going to be some times where you're going to go over. So you're now you're, you know, it's on like a ratio scale. Now you're looking at, and, and we did, we went in, I think we wound up, it was 125 days wow. by the time we were done. That's incredible. So if you, we, we were shooting six day weeks. So we only had Sundays off. We started in April and we went all the way until the end of summer. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, in your time, and I'm, I'm looking at the pictures here, is there a more memorable prop that you've worked with than the uh, the, the crotch cannon you got you got going on From there? From dusk till dawn. Yeah. Yeah. That was um, <laughs> that was something else. I, I I was that was one of those monumentous occasions where I thought I can't believe. I'm getting to be that guy. Yeah. I'm getting to be the guy, you know, paid taking to do this. Because it had been Tom Savini's thing, and uh, he had played the role, Sex Machine, yeah. in uh, in in the movie. So it was it was an honor to be able to throw on the the classic. See, and this this prop has made it into almost every one of Robert Rodriguez's projects, right. you know. And uh, so it was fun to wear a, a, a fan favorite. Outstanding, outstanding. And and there was a lot of jokes made about what the resultant would be if you were to actually fire the thing. I, I could imagine there'd be some concussive force. Yeah. Or some not, back blast. Not really where told. you'd want, like, you know. <laughs> There's got to be some heavy padding in there. Yeah. Uh, the last thing, uh, uh, you know, we're here at Contropolis, New Jersey. You're getting to meet the fans and the interactions. That's I'm sure it's been great. Point. Um, where can people also find you on social media? Do you do the social media? Can they follow you, support you? You you, you certainly can. Uh, on Instagram, I'm uh, the, the Jake Busey. The Jake Busey. Used to be on Twitter as well, but then when Elon bought it, it now I don't. I lost the whole blue badge thing, whatever all that was. So yeah. I, I don't, 
I don't really do the Twitter X thing anyway, but okay. uh, via Instagram is the, the Jake Busey. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your time. We won't take up any more, but uh, continued success in everything that you do, Thank you man. so much. I appreciate Absolutely. it. All right, guys. That's it. Thank <laughs> you.